2 liter of oxygen to give 22.7 liter of carbon dioxide and 22.7 into 2 liter of water vapor. This is all about the cytometric relation. To the next, we will discuss the next topic that is limiting reaction. While involving in cytometric calculation, we must be careful about the limiting reagent. Because what you mean by the limiting reagent, as the name indicates, the reagent in a chemical reaction, which is in limited amount, if it is in limited amount, then it will consume first in the chemical reaction and limits the amount of product. This is termed as limiting reagent. The amount of product will only and only dependent on those reagent which is in lesser amount and will not depend upon those reagent which is in higher amount. Let us know it by taking an example. But before that, what is limiting reagent? A reagent. In a chemical reaction, in a chemical reaction, which is in a reactant in a chemical reaction, which is in lesser amount, lesser amount, therefore consume first in the reaction therefore consume consume as soon in the reaction in the reaction and therefore and therefore limits limits the amount of amount of product it means if we have one or more than one reactant then in a chemical reaction the reactant which is in lesser amount will determine the amount of product or we can say or if in a chemical reaction if in a chemical reaction we have we have more than one reactant we have more than one reactant then in that case then in that case a reactant a reactant which is in which is in lesser amount which is in lesser amount will determine will determine will determine the amount of amount of product let us have an example the same example will take only we have to understand what is limiting reagent that is methane Prism gas state react with oxygen. Prism gas state to give carbon dioxide plus water. Prism gas state. Prism gas state. First of all, in order to know the limiting reagent and the calculation involving the chemical reaction, what we know, we have to balance the chemical equation. We have balanced previously. I remember it, you will balance it. 
what this chemical reaction says. This chemical reaction says when 16 gram of methane react with what is 64 gram of oxygen to give what 44 gram of carbon dioxide plus this one 36 gram of water. Okay. So the next if we have if we have what if we have only 32 gram of oxygen instead of 64 gram what we have we have only 32 gram of oxygen then in that case what we know in order to bond 16 gram of methane what we require 64 gram of oxygen but what is the amount of oxygen provided to us is that is 32 gram. Then in this reaction the amount of oxygen will determine the amount of product. Not the amount of methane. Because here the amount of methane is if we have provided 16 gram of methane plus 32 gram of oxygen then what will be the product? The question is that. Then in that case, we know that 16 gram of methane requires 64 gram of oxygen. But what we have? We have 16 gram of methane with 32 gram of oxygen. In this case, we know the amount of oxygen is lesser than requested amount, than required amount. It means this amount of oxygen Fill this amount of oxygen will decide the amount of product, not the amount of methane. And what will happen the excessive amount of methane? It will remain as unreacted reactant. Let us see it. We know 16 gram of methane, 64 gram. And 16 gram of methane also requires 64 gram. But it is in lesser amount than this is it is in this reactant this reactant it is known as limiting limiting reagent. how we will determine the product various ways we have to determine the product i will tell you how to determine the product we know we know we know that 64 gram of oxygen produces 44 gram of carbon dioxide then then 1 gram of 1 gram of oxygen produces 44 by 64 gram of carbon dioxide what we have provided we have 32 gram of oxygen then therefore 32 gram of oxygen produces what 44 by 64 into 32 then we have 1 2 11 it will produce 11 gram of carbon dioxide in the same way we can calculate if 32 gram of if 64 gram of oxygen produces 36 gram of water then 1 gram produces 36 by 64 gram of water and 32 gram produces what 36 by 64 into 32 that is 18 gram of water clear what is the amount of methane reacted during this chemical reaction 64 gram of oxygen requires 16 gram. Then 32 gram requires 
8 gram of methane and what is the amount of methane remains unreacted that is 8 gram of methane will remain as such it means it will not react in the chemical tip. This way how we will deal with the calculation involving limiting reagent is that in case a reagent is in lesser amount or limited amount then in that case that limiting reagent or that reagent which is in lesser amount will consume first in the chemical reaction and therefore it limits the amount of product it means it decides the amount of product in a chemical reaction but in order to know it first of all we have to produce the chemical equation in balanced format in the laboratory we know most of the chemical reactions are carried out in solvent and state if the reactions are carried out in solvent and state then we have to know the information about the amount of concentration of reactants or product in the solution if you know what is the concentration how to express it then we will deal with the calculation involving that chemical reaction it means we will discuss the next topic that is reaction in solution reaction in solution what we have we have most of the chemical reaction we have most of the chemical reaction chemical reaction is carried out carried out in solution state solution state then we have to know we have to know the amount of amount of various substances in the solution and have to represent have to represent it in order to represent it we have various ways you know we have to represent it and we have various ways various ways of representation let's discuss the first one is mass percentage that is percentage w by w. the next one is volume percentage that is percentage v by v the next one mass by volume mass by volume percentage that is percentage m by p the next we have fourth one that is parts per million in short p p m the next we have mole fraction mole fraction represented by x 
the nuts we have molarity represented by capital M. The nuts we have molarity represented by small m. The nuts we have normality represented by M. The next we have normality. We have the equivalent mass. What we know in order to represent the concentration of various substances in a solution, we have various fields. And what are these? These are mass percentage, volume percentage, mass by volume percentage, parts per million, mole fraction, and molarity, molality, normality. In this class, we will discuss the mass percentage. The next one is mole fraction, molarity, and molality. Let us discuss it. So one, we will discuss that is mass percentage. Or you can say feet percentage. It is represented as percentage W by E. What do you mean by mass percentage? Mass percentage it means the mass of solute in 100 ml of Sorry, the mass of solute in 100 gram of solution is termed as mass percentage. So it means, it means mass percent is equals to the mass of solute by mass of mass of solution into 100. Let us have an example. If we have what, what if we have a question like what is the amount of sodium chloride in a, in its aqueous solution having concentration that is 20 percent W by W. What we have the question? Question is that what is the mass of of what sodium chloride in its in its aqueous solution having concentration having concentration what is 20 percent W by What it means? 20% W by W. It means when 20 gram of sodium chloride dissolved in what? 20 gram of sodium chloride dissolved in 100 gram of solution. Then what we have? We have 20% W by W. What we have? Let us uh, understand it. Mass percentage. It is equal to, if we have binary solution, then in that case, mass of solute divided by mass of solute plus mass of solvent into 100. What we have? We have 20 percent 
W by W, that is the mass of solute by mass of solute plus mass of solute into 100. Then what we have in this case, if into 100. How we will get 20 percent? To syndicate that when 80 gram of sodium chloride dissolve, sorry, when 20 gram of sodium chloride dissolve in 80 gram of water, this means when we solve it, we will get when 80 gram of water containing 20 gram of sodium chloride then we have 20 percent W by W. By taking it as, let us remove it, we have mass percentage. What we have? When we have 20 gram of sodium chloride in 80 gram of, 80 gram of water and what is the mass of solid? We have 20 gram into 100. That means what we got 20 by 100 into 100. What we have? We have 20 percent W by What we obtained here? We obtained here that that 20 percent W by W of sodium chloride in water means that 20 gram of sodium chloride when dissolve in 80 gram of water, then in that case we have the concentration 20 percent W by W. Let us understand the mass percentage by taking an another example. That is, we have a question. Question is that when 2 gram of a solute dissolving dissolving 80 dissolving 18 gram of water then how we will represent it in terms of percentage w by w it is quite simple but then we have mass percent It is equals to what we have mass of solute by mass of solute plus mass of 